this is Astro Diver number one. Uh, a few months ago, I made a review video of the Celestron SLT 130, and this is my newer scope. And I've used it for some visual observation, but I've never taken any pictures with it. And here in uh, North Florida, it's Thursday, May 25th, 2017, and we have perfect weather for tonight, as you can see here. Uh, so I'm going to take some pictures tonight, and I've decided it's the first time using the scope, first time setting it up, uh, at least this particular one, and uh, I'm going to take the pictures, and no matter how they come out, I'm going to post at least a dozen of them, so we'll see how that goes. I plan on pointing to the south tonight, behind me, as you can see I have trees, I'm going to be aiming for Antares and Sagittarius. Uh, back up in there. I'll uh, put a picture I took with a wide view uh, camera just to give you an idea of where I'm going. And I'm going to target uh, M4, Globia Cluster near Antares, uh, also M8, the Lagoon Nebula, and I'm going to try M16, the Eagle Nebula, and M20, which is the Trifid, which I never have any luck with. So no matter how they come out, I'm just going to post how it went. I'm also going to show you how I set up. Uh, I'm not going to be taking pictures for probably another six hours or so, but and it's going to be dark, so I'm just going to set it up uh, in the light, and I'll show you the steps that go through before I do all this. So hopefully it comes out. We'll have a, a backup video <laughs> just in case. All right, again, I'm holding the camera, but this is what you're going to need. Uh, I'm going to set up. I'm going to use this telescope. And then I have my trusty old grill to put crap on. Uh, I also have a Hotec laser collimator, which I'll use later in the evening. The camera remote. Um, I set up initially with a 25 millimeter, and then I'll use, what do I got here, a, te a Teleview 11 millimeter um, for the final focus on the computer setup, the uh, tracking setup with the telescope. I also have my old trusty dusty 40 year old meat 8 inch which is uh, all set up on his little polar alignment pad there and I might use him for doing some pictures of Saturn after midnight so if I get bored which I doubt I will also a good idea to have a nice comfortable old wooden chair because you're going to be sitting down a lot I have the telescope of course set all the way down on the tripod because I want it as stable as possible uh, so around 10 o'clock tonight if my wife goes to bed that early, I'll kill all the lights in the house outside and inside. Uh, my nearest neighbor is several hundred yards away, so I do have dark skies. And then I'm going to pull the uh, dust cover off the end of the scope and let the primary cool off for about a half an hour, at least a half an hour, about 45 minutes. And then I'll, uh, I'll give it a quick collimation and see where we're at. Again, I'll be doing this tonight when it's... Uh, a better idea to do it it's in the mid 80s right now it should be in the mid 50s by midnight so that's the time you want to collimate the scope but first thing I'll do is tilt the scope down put in my collimation tool tighten it up and of course you go ahead and start with the secondary mirror you've got these three adjustments right here you want that laser right into the middle of your circle on your primary mirror and once that's done you come back to your secondary mirror you got your adjustment knobs here and your lockdown knobs and actually the scope's not off by too much you can see the lasers almost in the circle there but we'll get that set up tonight so that's the first thing I'll do before I even try to uh, set up the telescope for tracking or a camera or anything like that I may have forgot to mention, but you want to set the telescope tube horizontal along the ground just in case you drop this little wrench, it's not going to hit your mirror. Okay, then we'll turn on the scope. And it's doing its thing, it's verifying its packages and please wait and all that. So you're going to, hit, you're going to set up the scope, uh, set up the uh, controller, date, time location all that good stuff and then once the star finder 
and the 25 millimeter eyepiece are jiving together. Um, they're pointing at the same object. I'll go ahead and put in my uh, 11 millimeter, and that just helps the telescope um, go to a, a finer setting, um, and it, they, it seems to track better and set up better that way. So once the telescope seems to be tracking well with the uh, 11 millimeter eyepiece, uh, give it at least five, 10 minutes to make sure the object is still in the middle of the focus. I'll go ahead and install my two inch eyepiece uh, adapter for the telescope, my two inch Barlow and the camera and the remote. Uh, I'm probably gonna set up on Vega and Antares tonight. So the the uh, telescope's already pointing towards Antares and I'll probably use that bright star to focus the camera and take some uh, sample pictures of that. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow or the day after and we'll see how these turn out. So how did the pictures turn out? Uh, they came out well, actually. Uh, I took 104 pictures over a four and a half hour course. Uh, about 15% came out decent. Um, all pictures were between 25 and 55 second exposures. Uh, the pictures with the darker background are going to be an ISO setting of 1600. Uh, the pictures with the lighter background are going to be an ISO setting of 3200. Um, and I'm just going to, since I can't figure out how to put text on video yet, I'm just going to start with uh, Antares M4, a globular cluster, M8, M16, uh, M20, at least I think it's M20, I don't see any nebulosity there. I always see the same group of stars every time I go to M20. Um, I have set up video links that I'll put at the end of the video description, and uh, any questions, please let me know. Thanks. And P.S. I'm also going to put in a few of the cruddier pictures, just so you know what to expect. Uh, if you get pictures with, you know, blurriness and things like that, there's a lot of different uh, factors, variables that affect that, but I just want to put that in there as the reality part. All right, guys, take care. Also, just as a reminder, these are unprocessed, unaltered single images, so just to let you know.